Guys, I found something from IGN. And I don't think this is, like, worth talking about a lot, but I wanted you guys to see it. IGN has published the mathematically derived 500 best video games of all time. So they actually found an algorithm to pick the 500 best games ever made. Now, I'm gonna go to the bottom. I'm not doing all 500. That's too many. But we'll scroll a bit. Damn, Donkey Kong Country 2? Is all the way down here? Oh, damn, Sunshine. Sunshine below Borderlands is a crime. Sonic 3? It feels like that should be higher. Cave Story? How did it calculate this? I don't know. It said that I think it took top whatever games of all time sites and it put them together. So it just mashed them all up. We'll look at the end because I don't want to scroll up and spoil it. GTA, the first one? There's no world where the first GTA is better than Crash Bandicoot, Sonic 3, or Donkey Kong Country 2. That's unbelievable. This game went crazy. NFL 2K? You guys weren't alive for it. If you guys weren't there, that is the first game that I saw and I thought was real. I've told this story so much times on this stream. I was at an EB Games or whatever, and I thought this was real life. It was on a CRT, and I was like, oh, this game is magic. Paper Mario below Donkey Kong. Below Crazy Taxi. Echo below prey. Oh, that's messed up. XCOM 2, Killer 7, Mega Man. Mega Man 1. Sekiro. Wow. How high are the Dark Souls games? I wonder. Yeah, that's the worst Souls game. Well, not 2. 2 is like at the bottom of the 500. Yes. Good. Love that. Although the other ones are going to be way higher. Smash 4. Yep. All the way down here. Below Super Mario Brothers 2, I guess. Damn, Parappa. Above Binding of Isaac. This game is like 800 hours. This game is one. You can finish Parappa in at lunch. <laughs> Bro, what is God doing here? It can't be good. Oh, he's wiping out the East Coast, dude. I'm fucking dead. I bought this game at a yard sale by accident. I don't remember it, and I didn't play it. It's like an early civilization. But the box art looks so cool. So I was a kid, right? And I saw this box art, and I was like, oh, shit, a wizard and a skeleton. And I was at a yard sale, and I bought Populous. And then I popped it in, and it looks like this. And I was so angry. I didn't even spend my own money. It was like $3 at a yard sale. But it's, it's a fuck. I, what is this? Look at that. This is actually what I saw. This is what I saw at the yard sale because they didn't have the box. For some reason, I loved Acclaim, even though this is like the mark of the beast now. Every, you're supposed to hate Acclaim, but I loved Acclaim. I thought they were great. Track and field over Dark Souls 3. I actually wonder where Mother 3. Oh, that means it's below Earthbound. Ooh, drama. What's Mega Bomberman? I, I assume the same is regular. Oh, my ass has played this. Oh, my God. I played this on Sega Channel. Oh, my God. I, I see myself with the Capri Sun and the fruit by the foot. Sitting in my room, playing- Oh, my God, dude. Oh, the dog! It's a kangaroo. Kind of, but I thought it was a dog. Oh, rich-ass kid? I was a single- I was a- <laughs> I had a single mom- and I was an only child. Fuck yeah. I got whatever I wanted. My parents were competing, and I won. I remember the banana! Kill him! Oh no, you hit the monkey. Hit the monkey, bomber man. Yeah! Hit the monkey, bomber man! He's controlling the banana. Get him! Damn, this game looks kind of fun. It's like bomber man, but with story mode. This is the exact same game as every other bomber man. No, it's not. Bomber man is not. Do they have single play? Oh, look at the way he's hugging the light. Look at the way he's holding on. Why is the kangaroo blue? Well, this one's more lavender. No, I remember this game, and it's great. I forgot about how cool that game is. Stanley Parable, whatever. Shouts to Doug Doug's brother. Monkey Ball. Dude, Virtua Tennis? <laughs> Was anybody alive for Virtua Tennis dropping on the Dreamcast? Probably not. You guys weren't alive for this. It was really weird because, like, you know, you had these gaming mags which would talk about these big games. And Virtua Tennis was getting, like, nines and tens. And everybody was like, what the fuck? What, what kind of tennis game is it? And I looked at footage. It's just a tennis game. It's, like, normal. But, like, Virtua Tennis on the Dreamcast was getting, like, highest marks. It was really weird. Damn goose game over Marvel 2. Oh, my God. That's crime. Mario Maker, Into the Breach, Pac-Man, Virtua Fighter, the first one. Okay. Tekken 2, Dead Space 2, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Shovel Knight, Homeworld, Pirates, Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark? <gasps> Wait, there's an alien in there? Did you know that? You guys knew that? Is she an alien? <laughs> 
Is he piloting her like in Men in Black? That's Elvis, right? That's his name. Did Perfect Dark ever get a remaster? It should. I know that Perfect Dark game was supposed to be coming out like a long time ago. But it got one on 360. Yeah, but not like a remake. Not like the same thing, but upticked. I want like a, like started from the ground up. You know what I'm saying? Brawl above 4 and the original. Go oh my god, this is incredibly based. Thank god. The GameCube one is the best one. I really hope that the new one takes from that. Fallout that low? Pokemon Go? Oh, I didn't Pokemon Go over Demon Souls. <laughs> this is like the prototype for a series that changed a generation of games. And it's under walking around and, and finding a Dragonite. And it actually might... I don't know which one wins, actually. Well, I don't think Link's Awakening should be broken. This game is okay, but I think this is... I think this game is overloved. Is that, a, is that a fucked up thing to say? I think Mario RPG is kind of a hipster game. Not just like Geno, but like it's a good game, but it's not like, not like crazy, right? I think it would make a very big impression on you if you were young and played it. Oh my god, these are two of my favorite games of all time. Streets of Rage 2 is in my top 5 of all time. Jet Set is like top 20 maybe. By the way, did any of you guys play Immortal or Immortality? Oh my god, what a good game. I think it was by the same devs. Excellent game. Please play that and don't look up anything about it. That game was fucking crazy. Immortality was fantastic. Please don't look anything. I, so I found out in Immortality, I don't want to spoil anything, but I had probably the scariest experience you could have with that game just by random chance. And I can't talk about it, but it was it was fucking terrifying what happened. Banjo barely top 50 or 250? Barely top half above this stupid ass meme game. I thought we were past this. Platoon, Doom, Hot, Wow, Pokemon Sword. Oh, <laughs> yep, above Banjo Kazooie. Yep, and there it is. Original Animal Crossing. Fez. Fez is good. I don't think it's that high. Fuck off with this, dude. I would argue Cuphead's top 100, but that's me. That's just me. Now we're getting into the real influential shit. When you're in top 200. This is a big deal. Like, Hotline Miami, like, shifted indie games for a while. Oper Din, everybody loves. Mortal Kombat changed the game. Damn, 185 and 186. Fallout 2. This should be higher. This game is fantastic. Hotline Miami sucks ass. No, it's tremendous. You're probably bad at video games, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope 2 is higher than this. If 2 is higher than this, I'll be so happy. I know 1 will be. 1 is probably top 30. But I hope 2 is higher, because I love... Bioshock 2. Is this a good game? Planescape Torment? I hear people talk about it, but I guess it's just the writing. This should be higher. Burnout 3 is a perfect game. Like, straight up a perfect game. One of the few 10 out of 10s. Punch Out, TF2, the NBA Jam over TF2. Borderlands 2! Well, maybe. Wii Sports should definitely be higher for all of it. Did. This should be top 100. I'm just picking out the games I like <laughs> and getting annoyed at it. Sonic 2. When do you use a hang glider in Sonic 2? Do you do that? All right, top 100. Damn, Celeste just out of it. <laughs> Peak over Majora's Mask. Majora friends are seething. According to this, this list is uh, League is better than Sekiro. Like, as much as I make fun of League of Legends and I laugh at it, I did play it for 10 years. I don't want to say that League is good, but this game unlocked, like, a dopamine. Like, th this game will change your brain chemistry. That's called addiction. It is. But if a game is able to get you addicted, doesn't that mean it's good? I think if a game is good enough to trick your brain into thinking you need it, I think that means it's good. No? I think you're wrong. You can't put hard drugs on a food tier list. Well, if the drugs, if it's an edible, it's food and drugs. That's how a league is. Coney is an act. He sure is. Yeah. Replace league with meth. <laughs> it's just not the same. It, it's, it's fucked up. It is. There's melee. Okay, sure. Ultimate's got to be higher, right? Bam Ham won. Excellent game. Extremely good. Sim City, Sim City 2000, right next to it. Mario Kart, sure. Earthbound top. Th this is this is hipster shit. You know what's weird? The Sims doesn't really. I don't think The Sims has like. If you guys were around for The Sims, I thought that that series was gonna have a lifelong 
cultural impact that would never go away. The same way that, like, Grand Theft Auto does with, like, multiple generations. It literally does. Does it? I don't think Sims is big a deal anymore. The Sims is still huge. But it's not part of the larger cultural conversation, right? The first Sims, like, was, was on the level of, like, Mortal Kombat and, like, all those games that are in the news, right? That change everything. But Brave was a big deal, dude. Seriously. I don't know if it still is or if it, like, should have held on to its relevance, but that's... It was a good game. I love Brave. Damn, two under one? Everybody liked one better. Undertale? Shut the fuck up. Stop with the Undertale, bro. Stop the cat. You know what I'm saying? Huh. I never really thought about the fact that Fallout 3... Like, I guess it depends on how you judge a game, but Fallout 3 over Fallout 1 and 2, like, in terms of how much they changed gaming, this is way bigger. Yeah, Fallout 3 changed everything. Fallout 3 is the most embarrassing game ever made. Speak on that. What do you mean by embarrassing? I don't disagree. I just want to know why you said that. That Fallout 3 ending had me floored. I will never forget how I felt in that moment. Fallout 3 is a Fallout fanfic. That's a good That's a good way to put it, actually. Yeah. Remember when Todd said a thousand endings? <laughs> Todd just be saying anything, bro. Todd just be saying shit. A thousand? Hey, and guess how many planets he said we would have in uh, Starfield. You remember? He loves that number. He loves that number. But yeah, Fallout 3, as much as I... Like, I, I, I knew in my heart, like, that it was probably worse than 1 and 2, but this game addicted the shit out of me when it came out. Nobody had done that kind of loot shooter kind of deal yet, the way that Fallout did. And now it's kind of old, but it was a big deal at the time. Tony Hawk 2, sure. Ultimate. Ultimate over Last of Us Part 2. <laughs> That was pretty good. Arkham City over Asylum is kind of wild. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... Metro Prime. Disco Elysium, okay. Mario Kart 1! Symphony of the Night, I'll give it up. I just beat that game. Yup. Dark Souls 1, okay. Dark Souls 1 only being 30 is kind of crazy. Bloodborne is now the best of them. Bloodborne is not better than Dark Souls 1. Now hold on there, player. <laughs> hold on a minute there, player. I humbly disagree. I think, I think if Bloodborne was in 60 FPS, it would be, it would be, it's peak. I think Dark Souls 1 is good, but I think people, what's the word? Idolize it. Sekiro clears all of them. It might, it actually might. I think the issue is that Bloodborne has achieved, like, mythical status. I think Sekiro is probably my favorite, and I think it's, it might be the best one, but it's so different. And it doesn't have, like, the legacy Bloodborne does. Bloodborne feels like this unattainable, like the, the, the Forbidden Apple, right? New Horizons? I thought people hated this one. Was New Horizons the... That was the Switch one. People liked the New Leaf, right? Yeah. New Leaf was supposed to be a good one. Red Dead 1 over Red Dead... I mean... No, it might be right. How? I'm like... I'm, I'm thinking of these games at like a bird's eye view, right? Red Dead 2 is this sprawling, massive, detailed, like, it feels, feels like there's too much. And I feel like Red Dead 1 is so focused and smaller. This was not manually ranked. None of it matters. Yeah, but I'm wondering why one would be ranked. Is it just because it's the first one, so it made more of an impact? I don't know. Red Dead Redemption was GTA in the desert. Red Dead 2 was something more profound. No, you're right about that, too, because Red Dead 1 is, like, a lot more focused, but it's, it's really just the GTA engine. That's it. So I think you're right. Sure, I do. Minecraft top 20. Oh my god. That's kind of crazy. Hades should not be that high, by the way. Top 25 is a little crazy. It's good, but come on. Okay, Shadow the... Co okay. Uh, did, I get, did I ever tell you guys the story about going to a party and some guy was like... It was like 10 years ago. Actually longer than that. A very long time ago. And I went to a party at my friend's house. My friend is a gamer, right? And he had some other gamers over at the house. And he was friends with some, like, hashtag gamers. Like, go to MAGFest with the, like, I pause my game to be here or whatever. And my friend had a copy of Shadow of the Colossus on the wall. And the other guy was like, oh my god, you own Shadow of the Colossus? And my friend was like, yeah. 
Because it wasn't, like, rare or anything. The game wasn't that big a deal. You could get it for, like, 20 bucks. And we were... I, I don't remember what the TV was being used for. I think we were watching something on it or just, like, mindless, whatever. He's like, you've got to see this game. And he, like, called everybody into the room to watch him play it. <laughs> and everybody was, like, trying to be polite. And he was, like, trying to show everybody why it was this, like masterpiece and this art thing and everybody like everybody's trying to be polite at first and after like 10 minutes everybody just starts walking away and like going into other rooms or like politely you know leaving he's like oh you're missing it you're missing the boss this guy was like 24 this was at a party yeah it wasn't a huge party it was like you know maybe 20 people but it was very weird <laughs> were you the cool guy coney or the geek at what at parties i don't really go to parties I don't think I do any of that. When I'm at a party, I just kind of go to my area and I just stay there. He poses as the cool guy. I don't pose as anything. Ah, the geek. I guess. I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to, to fuck it. I'm not, I'm not a center of attention Sally. That's not what I do. I'm too cool for parties. Yeah. <laughs> Interacting, socializing with my fellow man. Not for me. That's cringe. You're a streamer. Street, yeah, but I don't stream to be the center of attention. I don't get off on people looking at me and perceiving me. That's why I be I want to be a VTuber. I, if I could start it all over, I would go back and be an anime shark. Just start all over. You guys would never see me. It's not too late. It most certainly is. Gorilla Avatar? <laughs> That's not bad, actually. Portal 2, Mass Effect 2, Mario. We're all smug as Yoshi. Why you look like that? Why you look so smug? GTA 5, Bioshock 1, not top 10. Yeesh. Super Metroid, okay. Witcher 3? Alright. Oh, jeez, I spoiled it. <laughs> Alright, there it is! <laughs> Half-Life 2, Game Boy, Last of Us, Breath of the Wild. There you go. I don't know why it shot up like that. My bad. Yeah? Only 64 is coming soon. Dude, was that on, on here at all? Tetris Top 2. Last of Us Top 3. I feel like Last of Us has aged so poorly. I feel like this game is gross now, but maybe I'm wrong. Mario 64 should... That's an excellent game. How's Breath of the Wild still number one? I don't know. Control F Donkey Kong? I'll just Control F 64. Oh my god, it's just Star Fox 64. Wave Race 64. Mario Kart 64. Dude, Donkey Kong 64 isn't on here. Oh, man. The game fucking blows. No, it doesn't. 